Hello and welcome to another video. In this tutorial I will show you how to implement 2D navmesh pathfinding using tile maps. At the end of this video we have created this awesome game where a white circle moves towards a black circle. So starting from scratch with a brand new Unity 2D project we begin by creating a new folder for sprites and a new folder for scripts. Then we drag and drop the amazingtiles.png, which will be linked in the description. It contains three tiles 8 pixels by 8 pixels, so we set the pixels per unit to 8. Then we set filter mode to point and quality to high, since they are made pixel art style. Open the sprites in the sprite editor and slice them by cell size 8 by 8. Call the first one wall, second one ground, and third water. Don't forget to click apply. Now it's time to create our tile map. Create a new game object. 2D object, tile map, rectangular. Set the order in layer to 1 and duplicate it two times. We want one tile map for ground, one for walls, and one for water. Set order in layer to 2 for water and 3 for walls, since we always want the walls to be displayed in front of the other layers. Now we open the tile palette by clicking on Window, then Tile Palette, and snap it onto your preferred position in the editor. Then we can drag and drop our tiles onto it. Save it in a new folder called Tiles. Now on the ground tile map we can draw our ground tiles. And then, you guessed it, on the walls tile palette we will draw our wall tiles. And believe it or not, but we will draw our water tiles on the water tile map. Now it's finally time to set up some navigation. Create a new game object called NavMesh. And now we need to download the 2D NavMesh package from GitHub called NavMesh Plus. There's a link to that in the description below. I made a very educational picture for you to easily find the download button. Click the green code button and then download zip. Unzip the file you just downloaded, open it and locate the NavMesh components. That's the folder that we want to drag and drop into our assets folder. Now we can add a navigation surface to our NavMesh game object. Then we add Navigation Collect Sources 2D as well, and click Rotate Surface to XY. Now on our ground tile map, we give it a navigation modifier and check the override area field. Then we select Walkable in the dropdown. Do the same for the water and walls tile maps, but select Non-Walkable on those.
Now let's create our nav mesh agent. Create a 2D circle called enemy, and a new script called enemy that we attach to the game object. Set its order in layer to 5. Reduce the size if you want, and duplicate it to make the target which the agent will move towards. Now create the enemy script and attach it to the enemy. In the enemy script, we need a serialized field transform target so we can set the target to follow. Then we need a reference to the nav mesh agent, which is another script attached to the enemy game object. Don't forget to add using Unity Engine.ai. In the start function, we assign the agent to the component and set update rotation to false and update up axis to false. Then in the update function we call agent.setDestination and pass target.position. Now in the Unity editor we assign the target to the target field on the enemy and go to the navmesh object and click bake. Now we can see the walkable area clearly in the scene view. Go to the enemy object and add a nav mesh agent to it, then click play and watch him follow his target. Pretty amazing, isn't it? And from here, we can easily update our tile maps by selecting the tile map we want and redraw the tiles. Just go back to the nav mesh and click bake again when you are done, and the enemy will follow the new path instead. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.